Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today I've got a whole tidal wave of good news for you. Mega Halo Day has been fully announced. We know all the details which I'm going to break down in this video and I'm also going to give my speculation, my ideas and thoughts on what could actually come of this day. There's a lot to talk about so I'll get right into the news. A few days ago I covered the original teaser for Mega Halo Day which was announced on a Halo Waypoint blog post. Just as some random paragraph in amongst Halo Infinite fixes, it was really exciting to see that 343 was talking about Mega. I always get excited when that happens. But this particularly was something special. They confirmed that there was going to be some kind of panel coming soon, a particular day centered around Mega Constructs, and there was also going to be a new Mega Halo fan vote. The MCX fan vote last year, we voted for what figure we wanted included in Halo Heroes Series 16. The Haunted Helmet one, you know the story by now, and when they teased it a few days ago, we didn't know quite how far they were going to go with it. They said we were going to be able to vote on a new Halo product. That could just mean another figure from Series 16, though I imagine the production window is closing a little too much for them to be able to produce and design a new Halo Hero Series 16 figure. I imagine that whole wave is finished now. So it was a new Halo product. We didn't know if it was going to be just a figure or a full set. I also talked about the last time we did a full set vote. That was at Halo Fest 10 years ago. We could choose between the Spirit Dropship, a Forerunner Structure, and the Saber. The Saber won and became the Countdown set, but ironically, the Spirit and the Forerunner Structure, which eventually kind of became Cauldron Clash, still did release in the future. But that vote was contained exclusively to Halo Fest, like you weren't able to vote online, it was just people who attended the event. And in the blog post, which I'll read in a second, Mega do confirm that we are going to be able to vote for a new set. Not just a figure, a new set. So this is a really exciting time to be a Mega Halo fan. We've seen Mega's fan engagement increase exponentially in the last year. They've appeared on Halo Podcast Evolved a couple of times. We had the original MCX fan vote, and they opened a Google Doc recently where we could submit feedback on how we wanted Mega's engagement with the community to improve. So this is all wonderful news, and now we're seeing that 343 is actually dedicating a full day to talking about the 2022 line and to have another MCX fan vote. Like, this is all of the right things for me. Like, all of the correct steps in the right direction for Mega engaging with the fans. I could not be more happy personally. Halo News Alert! We're hosting a virtual panel to reveal our full 2022 toy line with the Mega team and special guests. We're also launching our second hashtag Mega Halo fan vote to decide on a full building set. Both the panel premiere and voting kick off this Saturday. Let's go! This is on the Instagram and the Twitter of Mega Cons officially, and this will all be taking place on youtube.com slash Halo. So this is a legit full experience on Halo's official YouTube channel. I don't really think Mega have ever had this much cooperation with Halo. The other example I can think of is appearances at SDCC on a panel, but this is a really great step. So there are two things we have to talk about, the virtual panel and the Mega fan vote. The virtual panel will feature the Mega team and special guests, we don't know who those are yet, and it will be a first look at fall 2022 Halo line. We know quite a lot of the spring 2022 Halo Halo line by now. We know that we've got Halo Universe Series 1 blind bags, the Arbiter's Quest, Gungoose Gambit, Halo Hero Series 15, and the Banished Garrison pack. Amongst a couple of other things and a new helmet, there is a lot to offer, but I think 2022's 4 line is going to step that up even more. Halo Universe is Mega's brand new kind of IP where they've branched off into two timelines, the Halo Infinite sets and the Halo Universe sets, which are everything else. Games, comic books, movies, TV, the lot. I think at this panel particularly, especially when we're talking about the fall 2022 line, I think we're gonna get some Halo TV show toys. We gotta get some kind of sets related to the TV show. I don't know how many, Keep in mind when Halo Nightfall came out, we only really got the Smuggler Intercept, that's all we saw. Ironically, Halo Nightfall, we now have Halo Heroes Series 15 with Agent Locke, so that's a whole thing being brought back to life. But it premieres Saturday, February 26th, 10am PST, 1pm EST at youtube.com slash Halo. So, 
I'll see you guys there. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do a video reacting to it or a live stream where we can watch it all together. I'm not sure yet, but there is so much to unpack here. There's so much to speculate. Like the fall 2022 Halo line, here's the thing. Halo Universe has taken the main stage on the spring 2022 line. Aside from Gun Goose Gambit and the Banished Garrison pack, the rest of the stuff like Arbiter's Quest is just general Halo sets. In fall of 2022, are we going to get a mix, like a half and half balance of Halo Infinite and Halo Universe? I'm not sure. There have been a lot of leaks, which I'm not gonna talk about in this video. I don't even know if they're true. But I think my logical expectation is that we do get a banished vehicle in the fall of 2022. A banished phantom seems like the absolute obvious play. Maybe a banished scarab, but the scarab was not in Halo Infinite, so I'm still a bit skeptical on that. Though Mega have been known to produce sets that are cut content from the game. For example, the Skiff Intercept, which is actually just a derelict vehicle in the background of Halo Infinite. So a lot can change, and Mega always talks about how their production cycle is two years ahead. They're currently working on the 2024 lineup, so it is possible that they could produce something that releases in fall that was a cut part of Halo Infinite, but they didn't know at the time. Then we talk about the hashtag Mega Halo fan vote. We're going to be voting for a set to be produced. My bet, and a lot of people online, is that we're going to vote for a new signature build. I could see that being logical. An example of a signature build might be the Spirit of Fire or a Banished Warship. That's what I talked about in my last video. I would love to see one of those Banished Warships warships that you see all across Zeta Halo, like that would be dope. A Banished Phantom could be a signature build, but I think the Banished Phantom will be at the same price point as the Pelican Inbound. Same kind of piece count, like mirroring each other. Mega have confirmed that the Pelican Inbound will be produced for the rest of the year, but that doesn't mean that a Phantom might not take its place at the end of the year. I mentioned it in my previous video and I'm gonna double down. I want to have a vote on some kind of multiplayer map recreation, right? There have been rumors that Sandtrap might get a Mega Constructs release, but all in all, I just want to see more dioramas, more display pieces for my sets. I have far too many vehicles and nowhere to display them. Help choose an upcoming building set. Vote daily between February 26th to 28th at megabrands.com slash halo vote. The winner will be announced on March 1st. Like that's a small window. I mean, this has all been teased today, then you can vote on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and the winner will be announced on March 1st. Like, that's a really small window. And that's fantastic. I don't wanna be waiting around for this. The other interesting thing is, they say the winner will be announced a day later. Does that mean that we're not going to be able to publicly see how many vote sets have got this time around? That might be an interesting development because in the first MCX fan vote, you could see publicly how many votes each one has. So it was kind of already predetermined after a couple of days that the Haunted Helmet would win. I would like it more if you can't actually see how many people have voted until the very end. That sounds like a really cool twist in this uh, journey. So I would love you guys to let me know in the comments down below what sets you hope will be voting for. I asked you to do the same a few days ago. I'm going to compile all my favorite comments together and release a video reading through them in the next few days. That way all of you guys can get a voice that hopefully Mega will hear. I'm also running a lot of polls on my YouTube channel, so make sure to check out my community tab whenever you can. I'm going to be forwarding a lot of this poll information to Mega once I have enough of it. And I'm just going to keep up to date with all this. You expect to see a lot of videos on this in the future, the virtual panel and the Mega Halo fan vote. My personal opinion, we might be voting on a signature bill, but at the same time, the Pelican is so large, it seems to have replaced signature builds. I also don't know how profitable signature builds really are to Mega, or if they'd rather just release smaller sets. So it might not be that. My other interest is, are we going to be voting on a Halo Universe set or a Halo Infinite set? Halo Infinite, there's not that much I can think of, to be honest, that we could be voting on. It is kind of a limited sandbox, especially based on the fact that we've seen most things already released. Most main vehicles in Halo Infinite, I think, have a guaranteed release in Mega Constructs form anyway, because there's not that many. And Mega wouldn't leave a fan vote up to a vehicle that might never be produced, you know what I mean? But at the same time, fan votes don't necessarily mean that we won't see that thing produced in the future. I'm hoping so anyway, because I really want Flood combat forms to be produced and we lost that MCX fan vote there in the previous round. 
Uh, also, justice for Thrall Slayer, I say it every time. The virtual panel and Mega Halo fan vote will commence on Saturday. And you guys should definitely set your clocks, set your reminders, and be there Saturday, February 26th, 10 a.m. PST, 1 p.m. EST, youtube.com slash Halo. I'm really excited to see how this develops, and I might make a few top tens this week on sets that I want to be voting for, sets that I want to see come out, sets that I predict will be released this year. It's going to be a great week of content. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and we'll see you on Saturday 26th.